Stephanie's little tail is wagging. Of course. Uh, please welcome to the show uh, uh, two of the stars of Reno 911, of course, the reboot uh, happening on Quibi. Uh, we're talking about uh, deputies Weigel and Jones. From Reno 911, Carrie Kenny Silver and Cedric Yarborough. Carrie, Cedric, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> All right. It's hey. so exciting to have Reno 911 back. I just have to tell you that right now. It's such a great show, and I know that, Carrie, it is like the gem of your comedy canon, uh, and you worked so long and so hard to get to where you are, and I could not be more proud of the entire cast. Oh, we are so proud. We're, we're, this is our favorite season we've done so far, and it's nice to be able to say that without lying. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? We had uh, Tom Lennon on, was it last week? Yeah. And he had just the opposite to say. The shows suck. They're not long enough. The cast sucks. He's, he's been around you too long. He's bitter. Right. Well, that's for sure. 33 years is enough. I'm going to call it right here on the <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. So, Quibi, Quibi. Reno 911 is now on Quibi, and that means that all of the episodes are super short, but it doesn't skimp on any of the stuff you love from Reno 911. There's still there's still a lot going on. I don't think you're going to miss anything. I, I feel like when you watch these episodes, they actually really are how they were meant to be. Um, I don't think you're going to feel like, like uh, right now you can go on and watch seven episodes in a row if you want. And there's, I think we've got 25 total. So wow. plenty, plenty of Reno for you. Uh, I don't want to get, I don't want to get Reno failure watching it oh too, too much God. of it. Oh my God. Cedric, I, did you listen to that? Okay. That's what I deal with. Stephanie, there. I've already, Stephanie, I already decided you're my favorite. <laughs> You know what I was going to do? I was going to stick up for you, Cedric, because, uh, like me, I can barely get into word edgewise on this show. Oh, yeah, And okay. Jerry is monopolizing the whole thing. It's like, you know what I'd like to see? You know what I'd like to hear? I'd like to hear Cedric for a change, if that's if that's all right with anybody. All right. <laughs> that's enough of you Cedric are... for now. <laughs> well, you know what? You're right. Yeah, Carrie, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, Carrie, go ahead. All right. <laughs> Welcome to my world. So does this take, uh, like, does Reno 911 take up, like, the majority of your time, or do you have other irons in the fire? Do you have other things that you're working on right now? What does Cedric have to say about <laughs> I knew it. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just busy trying not to get the coronavirus. <laughs> All of us. I, hey, that's something we have in common. Yeah. Hey, celebrities are just like us. <laughs> <laughs> we, were, we were we were so fortunate to uh, get the show done and finished before all of this hit, and um, we're just very happy that you know we, we have something fun and funny that people can watch during this time. Uh, you know, uh, just to kind of get a little bit of a, an escape, even if it is six to seven minutes long. You know, uh, you, you go to the bathroom and and watch our show and get away from your kids. I don't know if that's a good commercial for Quibi. <laughs> go to the bathroom and yes. watch our show. Quibi in the bathroom, yeah. yeah. I'm going to stick by it. All right. We're here with Carrie, Kenny Silver, and, of course, uh, Cedric Yarbrough. It's Reno 911 on Quibi, and as we told Tom Lennon, uh, we had Jeffrey Katzenberg on, and yeah. I don't know if you guys have been in contact with Jeffrey, but... Uh, I was a little, and Stephanie too, I think we were a little intimidated. The dude's, you know, like a billionaire and he's a mogul and, you know, he's a heavy hitter and whatever you, else you want to say. And so I s tried to test his sense of humor. I was, it was, it was like, uh, like having a dog sniff your hand, you know, and he, he turned out to have a pretty good sense of humor. Have you come in contact with Katzenberg? Uh, we have, and, and I had the same experience of, of, of very afraid, um, He's, he's the man, and um, he turned out to just be, like, a lovely gentleman. So uh, that's a relief. What about you, Cedric? Uh, they won't let me near. <laughs> <laughs> they, no. They, which is, which is and, and to their credit, they're, they, they're, they're very right. <laughs> yeah. Him at all. Yeah, I this would, is based, on, based on years of experience. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I would pick him up like a baby. <laughs> I would do all the things that you would do to a Jeffrey Katzenberg. Yes. 
You know, I pick him up I found when I found when we were interviewing him, uh, Cedric. I too wanted to swaddle him. I don't know if that's the feeling that you got. He's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> Every time we're about to walk into a room, we have to say to Cedric, do not swaddle the boss. <laughs> Oh, God. Now I want that to show up in an episode of Reno 911. Yes. Swaddling. Like Swaddling. Swaddling yes. episode. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Carrie Kenny Silver and Cedra Jabro here with us from Reno 911, of course, uh, on Quibi. Which is free for a little while longer. Yes. You should probably mention that. Cats, who he let me call him Cats. He did not let you call him Said at all. that, well, we're friends. Cats said, you know, 90 days from when, when he was on the show, a couple, what was it, a couple weeks ago, I think? Mm-hmm. So we still have time to get it for free. We, uh, we asked this question. I don't know how it's going to work with two people, but... Uh, we asked uh, we asked David Spade a question. Actually, it just came up. He was in line uh, for the bathroom at a house where there was a party, and Paul McCartney was standing right in front of him, waiting to go to the bathroom. And he he said he was absolutely paralyzed. He couldn't talk or anything like that. After you guys became famous, did that ever happen to you? Anybody leave you speechless? Oh, all the time. But my thing is that I never remember who anybody is. So I look at them and I'm like, I think I know you. Are you? <laughs> Are you feeling down the street for me? Are you a dad at my son's school? <laughs> and, and it's always like, no, I'm Robert De Niro. Right, yeah. Hey. Hey. Carrie, I, I'm Thomas Lennon. We work together yeah. every day. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, right. You're the fourth guy. Yeah, right. 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 Weirdo. Yeah. Right. What about uh, what about you, I, Cedric? Yeah, I got a chance a couple years ago to work with Sir Paul on a animated uh, movie that he wrote. Um, and it was really cool, really interesting to, to do. And um, uh, I thought this, this animated movie was going to happen. And I made the mistake of telling Minnie Driver uh, the story that I, that I worked with Paul McCartney. And she, she said, she shot me down right away. She's like, "You, he, he, that 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 movie will never happen. He always do, does these projects that never happen." And and sure enough, that movie never. Happened. Oh no! <laughs> I blame Mini Driver yeah. for that movie not happening because she hexed. That she did. Guy. She did. She's got that Plus, sort of like mystical yeah. pagan thing about her. I bet she did. I don't know. If that's the issue. I I don't believe you when you're telling me. So. You know. Okay. Whatever. All right. <laughs> All right. We got to let these guys go. They're doing a lot of press. It's Reno 911 on Quibi. Carrie, Kenny, Silver, and Cedric Yarbrough. Thanks. Thanks, folks, for, for doing this. We Good appreciate it. Good luck the rest of the way. I love oh, you, thank Stephanie. you, guys. <laughs> I love you, Stephanie. <laughs> Shut the F up, Cedric. <laughs>